Uh, good morning from the uh, Chardon Weather Center. I'll be focusing the first part of my uh, video on uh, this weekly uh, weather for uh, into uh, Thanksgiving Day. And I'll just want to point out that this particular map right here is showing Tuesday morning. And as you can see from the East Coast all the way just about the West Coast, we have a mild to moderate pattern that's set up across the uh, continental United States. Right here on this map, this is uh, Thursday morning. Now, as we can see, we still have a rather quiet pattern with moderate to actually mild temperatures for many people. And this Thanksgiving may not be a bad idea to maybe have a barbecue along with some turkey. It's going to be beautiful from uh, the East Coast all the way into the, the Midwest area and, of course, further south. Uh, so enjoy your Thanksgiving day. It's going to be really nice. But as we can see, right up here in the northern plains, we see the first hints of the changing weather pattern. And I just want to point this out, and I'll show a couple of days afterward, since many people will be traveling, and it's a good idea to make sure you have the correct plans for this big holiday weekend coming up so you can avoid any pitfalls. Uh, right here, this is uh, Friday morning, and uh, of course, this is Black Friday, which I'm showing you right here. Now, as we can see, it's still rather quiet on the East Coast. All you people will pin and do all your shopping uh, through all that uh, crowd, so it should be rather nice. But as we can see, impending cold air is coming down through the Great Lake region, heading straight for Chardon, and it's going to go right to the East Coast. Let's see how Saturday looks. Uh, right here, this is uh, Saturday morning, 24 hours later, and as you can clearly see, right here on the East Coast, you could have a shower or a sprinkle with temperatures dropping uh, into the 40s on the East Coast, while good old Chardon, Ohio, right here in the Great Lakes region, especially depending upon the winds, there could be some uh, lake effect snow showers and perhaps a few periods of heavier snow downwind from the lakes in your favorite snow belt areas. That's for Saturday morning. Uh, right here we have uh, Sunday morning. Now, as we can see, the cold air has swept through the eastern part of the nation. There's starting to be a slight moderation in the uh, Midwest area, as you can see these lines right here, which represent temperatures which probably would be in the uh, 40s coming back uh, to much of Ohio. While it still would be uh, rather chilly along the East Coast with temperatures in the 20s and 30s and uh, low 40s. And I just want to point this out. It looks rather uh, nice for people traveling back from Grandmom's house and uh, Everyone should have a nice uh, holiday weekend. It looks not too bad. Like I said, there could be some snow from the lakes uh, Saturday uh, with the cold air coming th across the relatively warm waters of the lakes. But overall, it's going to be a rather nice week. And let me put out this little uh, teaser that after this brief uh, spell of chilly air, which only lasts a few days, our friends to the north are loading up with some mighty cold air, and the models have been showing, some of the long-range models have been showing some rather cold air coming down for the continental United States starting around 10 to 12 days from right now. So just wanted to put that out there that uh, some real wintry cold is possible for this part of the, the entire nation. This would be around the uh, 27th or so of the month right into the, uh, the first week or so of December. So I just wanted to point that out there. A lot of people are discussing this right now. And I just wanted to let you know that even though right now through this next week coming up, we're going to be seeing a lot of temperatures in the 50s and perhaps even some 60s around here, especially toward Washington and Baltimore, that don't get yourself fooled. It's going to get mighty cold relatively soon. Within the next two weeks, we could be seeing some rather chilly air and some chances for snow, even for our friends on the East Coast. So, thanks for joining me, and I'll get back to you Wednesday if there's any uh, drastic changes for the uh, upcoming uh, Turkey Day weekend.